Hello everyone, welcome back again to our YouTube channel and this is November 7, Shera India X-Ray. I am here showing you the Malachite DSP SDR version 5 in which I'm going to share you a quick tutorial about the auto switch function between high impedance mode and 50 ohm mode. So to give you an overview between the high impedance mode and 50 ohm modes. Basically, high impedance or high impedance mode are those antennas that has a thousands of ohms if you're going to measure it using your nano VNA or the vector uh, network analyzer. And 50 ohm modes, those are antennas that has a value of 50 ohm or with matching uh, impedance with the device. So what is the purpose of this auto switch function between high impedance and 50 ohm mode? It is actually going to uh, make a hassle-free operation with the device. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to show you now how to operate the auto switch function between high impedance and 50 ohm mode. So first, you have to go to the hard menu or the hardware menu. And then next, you can see here the SW antenna, which is actually set by default to 50 ohm. So if you are not changing that uh, settings, that means the device is always set up to 50 ohms. To do the auto switch function between the high impedance and 50 ohm mode, you need to set the SW antenna to high impedance mode or high Z. So as you can see there, the ANT or the antenna is now glowing green. Before the setting was set to 50 ohm, the ANT or the antenna means deactivated. So if you're going to activate the high Z or the high impedance, the antenna will go green. So the indicator of this um, uh, antenna, um, this antenna that glows green or lighted in green color, that means the high impedance or high Z is operational. Now, take note, high impedance um, mode is only working below 50 megahertz. So if you're going to switch the frequency beyond 50 megahertz, it will activate the 50 ohm mode instead of the high impedance mode. So you're going to see here on the menu um, a static display. So this will not change, but on the background, the automatic switch is functional. So let's see. Okay. Now let's exit on this menu by pressing the hard menu again. So if you are going to change this frequency to um, VHF or beyond 50 megahertz, you will notice that the ANT that is color green will turn off or will just change to or will go back to color gray. That means the high impedance is deactivated. So let's try it. Okay, so let's go to um, more than 50 megahertz. Okay, so let's go to air frequency. All right. So you can see there that the antenna turns to gray color. That means the high impedance is deactivated and now a 50 ohm mode is now functioning with this antenna to match the RF signal of uh, the RF input. So the 50 ohm mode is now activated with this uh, frequency because we went beyond the 50 megahertz frequency. So the 50 ohm matching the impedance of this antenna, which is actually, this is a thousand of ohms. So we can still get RF signal even we are using a high impedance antenna. So as you can see there, we are getting signal from the air frequency.
Okay, so if we are going back to, if we are going to change again back to the frequency uh, on HF or below 50 megahertz, the high impedance mode will automatically activate. Okay, so let's go to 40 meter band. Okay, so now as you can see there, the ANT glows green again. So that means the high impedance is working. Now I'm going to show you the display on the menu that what I am talking about uh, regarding the static display because on the background, the auto switch function is actually functioning and it's working, but the display is not going to change. So when we change the frequency to uh, beyond 50 megahertz, you're going, the antenna or high impedance is already deactivated, but here the SW antenna shows high Z or high impedance. So that means, though literally this display does not change, but on the background, the auto switch function between the high impedance mode and 50 ohm mode is working. This auto switch function of the Malakai TSPSDR version 5 is actually one of the optional board included on the RF board. Okay, take note of this. You need to set the SW antenna to high impedance or high impedance mode so that the automatic switch between the high impedance mode and 50 ohm mode will work. If you are going to set the SW antenna to 50 ohm mode, that means you are setting it by default and that means that the device is static to 50 ohm mode. It will not work to automatic switch. So if you're going to switch the SW antenna and set it to high Z or the high impedance, the automatic switch mode function will work. Okay, so I hope everyone guys learned something on this video. If there is something that you didn't understand, I am very sorry, but you can just put your comment uh, down on the comment section below and ask some question and I will try my best to um, uh, answer your question uh, politely and of course with the information that you need. Okay, so thank you very much and see you again on the next Malakai DSP SDR version 5 video. So see you later guys. Thank you. And 73.